All right, um, it's just a little quick video really because I need your opinion. Um, as you'll have seen, for those of you who watch my channel, uh, I've gotten into knife building at the moment. And uh, currently, I'm really enjoying it. Um, this is the one I'm working on now. Uh, clearly, there's still a lot to do on it, but I think so far it's going pretty well. Um, the reason for this is because although I have been filming the process and uh, what have you, is that I've done a lot of it off camera, therefore not worrying about the camera, not worrying so much about what I'm going to say. It's gotten me thinking a little bit. Um, I know I have a tendency to talk a lot in my videos and uh, some people seem to like it. Um, I have had a few comments over the period of my channel where people have said that they really enjoy how I come across and you know how I talk to you all and that. Um, I did have one guy absolutely kick off and unsubscribe because I did one slideshow video not to worry um, but I think because this knife making process for me up to now has been so long it's take, it's up, up to now it's taken me I think three episodes to produce a knife uh, and I kind of got to thinking what can I do to uh, shorten that down a little bit because I have noticed when I do something that takes two or three episodes that I seem to lose people's attention uh, for example I'd have maybe 100 views on the first episode 80 for example on the second and then less on the third uh, and I started to wonder, is it, is it because it's dra dragging out too long? Are people losing interest because it's dragging out too long? And and that's fine because, you know, I, I've sat and watched stuff like that on YouTube and I think, oh, Christ, just get on with it. What I've decided I might try, if people are okay with it, is to actually just film what I'm doing and be quite harsh on the editing and then maybe have a little chat at the end of each episode or at the end of the build. Another reason I'm thinking about doing this is because it adds a lot of time, as you other YouTubers will know. It adds a lot of time to the project, you know, resetting the camera, thinking about what you're going to say and all that. When all that time could be focused on just putting the camera in place, filming, and then just working. Um, if people aren't bothered, I'll carry on doing it how I'm doing it because I enjoy talking to you. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to think of a way to keep people's attention. Nobody's actually said it's boring, but I don't know, maybe you know the way the view count drops it kind of suggests to me that people are losing interest because it's taking so long um, and that that's fair I mean like I say I've watched uh, stuff on YouTube and done that myself um, it's not that I'm bothered so much about the view count but I don't want to bore you you know so I would really appreciate it if you could let me know what you think on that. Also, um, some time ago, or not too long ago really, uh, a couple of people suggested to me that I go live on YouTube. I'm not really sure why they've suggested it. Um, but I am considering it. Um, so I'd like to know, if you don't mind, please. I'd like to know what you think of that idea. So is it something you'd be interested in? Um, 
the only really real idea I've come up with now is to do uh, a workshop tour because uh, to be honest it has changed a little bit since a year ago just over a year ago when I, when, when I did my first videos of setting up my workshop so I was wondering if people might be interested to see that uh, live that's about it I've gone on enough um, I really would appreciate your opinion on both subjects and I'll take everything you say into consideration. So thanks a lot. I'll see you later.